G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a bloodied war drum with 40% faster swing speed and VATS criticals filling 15% faster. I think that tertiary legendary effect is, uh, is that new? I'm not really sure, I haven't been keeping up with this game all recently. What you're looking at here is one of the worst weapons in the game, and for multiple reasons. First of all, the DPS on this thing is utterly garbage. On slow slugger swing speed weapons anyway... Um, generally the DPS isn't great, but it's magnified here because this thing doesn't hit for a whole lot of damage, and also, this being a Super Sledge reskin, it has all of the quirks of the, uh, giant jet engine on the back of it, except it's not there. Enemies will just hear you swinging this thing anyway. Makes a very loud noise when you hit stuff, and when you don't hit stuff, I guess, because that's how they detect you, right? And it's such a loud noise that this could only mean one thing. That this particular drum was sourced from Metallica's Saint Anger album, that's why it's like this. So, in honor of that album, come out in 2003, when I call this one the Saint Anger Snare. Perfect. Yep, this is about how it's going to go down, and we're probably going to die a lot because at low health, I'm not going to be able to dish out as much damage as I would with a power fist, it's going to be slow going, and look... A thing about this, and you, this is another way you can tell that it's just a Super Sledge reskin. This thing has the audacity to weigh 20 pounds. What is this thing? A stick and a drum. A, not even a drum, I'd call that a trash can. That's what they use in St. Anger, right? Um, and it weighs as much as a Super Sledge, which, mind you, looks a little bit like this. Proper military hardware, but also maybe not really. I don't know what they're going... Look, they looked like proper military weapons back in Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Uh, you even saw some of the Operation Anchorage Power Armor dudes running around with Super Sledge, which I guess would do a lot of damage. I don't know why they'd take them over projectile-based energy weapons, but... The Power Fist and the Super Sledge look like they went through more of a construction-looking thing. This one's painted green because it's Super Mutants, and Super Mutants are green, right? But yeah, it looks a little bit more industrial, a little less like a weapon. This is just an abomination all around. Look at that thing. And we've got 218 damage on this. And if we compare the pair of many pairs, you'll see that it actually does more damage than a Electro Enforcer. Although I'm guessing when I get this perked up and actually in Nerd Rage, the energy damage will just surpass the... Uh, Ballistic on that, and this thing will do more damage. Funnily enough, All Rise does more damage than this by a very large margin there. Um, if we look at the War Glaive, you'll see that if you add those two um, damage numbers together, you actually get the same, but, you know, that's pretty... That's not that bad because... Well, I guess that is kind of bad because you're, su you're splitting your damage in half, and all of those uh, uh, individual bits of things will be split in half by the damage resistance, so... <laughs> Uh, this thing, look, this thing's not going to reveal you when you swing it, so it's going to be better anyway, but we've also got the uh, pole hook here, that's a Far Harbor thing, a fishing gaff from the Far Harbor days, and that does more damage than the war dumb, and obviously we're getting 296 out of a power fist completely unspec, but obviously since those, uh, these iron fist weapons only have the three damage perks to get them going, they have to tune them up, but uh, yeah, we've also got a commie wacky here for reference. I'm going to beat some redditors with this fucking commie bastards. Anyways, so I think that goes, uh, that's about it for the comparisons. It's not looking good for the war dumb here, or the St. Angus snare, but well, we'll chuck on martial artists because we'll have to, uh, that'll reduce the weight to 8 pounds instead of the uh, 20 that we saw, which is a nice bonus. It's kind of a must-have. Uh, just swing faster and it makes, it makes the things weigh less. I said enemies weigh less. You know what? This thing is an enemy. There's not every day that you actually equip an enemy to fight enemies, but here it is. We're going to be wrestling with this thing to try to make it good, and I suspect that it's not going to go super well. And you'll see now that the energy damage has jumped up a little bit, and there's plus signs everywhere doesn't look like we're getting as good damage out of the uh, Electro Enforcer, which is kind of weird because the War Glaive has jumped right up there. Maybe it's because the Shocking Blade here is uh, getting itself, uh, I don't know, an extra multiplier or something like that. But, you know, we can boost it a little bit. Doesn't look like the Pole Hook got that much of a boost at all. That's really weird. That The difference is only two now. What the hell is going on here? Am I misreading that? 237, 2... Th okay, so... Not super far off, but... Look, there might be a few bugs in this game, 
and we're gonna have to deal with them for another possibly five ten months but it is what it is okay a very clear night here in the Maya you can barely see anything that's uh interesting lighting there Bethesda and uh at nerd rage doing 472 which is a substantial increase it must be said but uh well, it's still doing better than the Electro Forcer, which is strange because I actually raided that weapon. Uh, yeah, it's fallen behind the uh, Warglaive, the Pole Hook. It, it's doing more damage than the Pole Hook. What the hell is going on here? Is it... I, I don't know. This thing does give you... Whoops, that's not the button. This thing with the... Uh, the puncturing thing does get you a little bit more armor penetration. I don't know what's going on there. And All Rise is doing a lot better. <laughs> Back... I mean, the all rises aren't going to swing as fast, but the damage per swing is going to be higher. I don't know what's going on with the pole hook. That's really weird. And obviously, the super sledge is just smashing it in terms of damage now, even with that extra or without that extra 35 of the flamey damage. Anyways, so the first thing I'll do is uh, attempt to not get wrecked by my pet gulpers. This is the first test. And um, don't worry, this the gulpers are all... The gulper wounds are simulated for, uh, but, did I just get a hundred, okay, we need to start hitting him, Becca, yes, 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 keep going, keep going, we're surviving somehow, we're, we've been on zero health for ages, we got wrecked there, but, yeah, you get it, we're gonna let that gulper live, he's earned it. Okay, so here we are outside of Megadeth headquarters, ready to give him a taste of old Metallica, and, um, uh, I'll show you my stats, because there's uh, a couple of things worth noting here. Big strength, uh, I could get that a little bit higher if I use the right perks, but I've got a bunch of mutations, they're all being suppressed right now, I've got an extra 25%. Um, crit uh, damage, not crit damage, uh, damage with the cry later. And the eagle eyes among you may have uh, saw that I had the perk that gives you the thi Wow, that's just stopped on midair. Cool. Um, you'll see that I've got the perk that allows me to see where I'm throwing shit. And, um, well, I kind of might just keep doing this instead of using the war drum. It's putting me in caution, which is A-OK. -okay. I suspect there to be a little bit of a ruckus when I'm doing this, but I wonder if I swing this, do I get instantly detected? Yes, I do! Oh my god. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm just gonna stim pack, and I'm going to hammer sting pack buttons, but instead, instead of like, diluted stim packs, we're going to use super stim packs, because we gotta be real sweaty and uh, spam that health button all the time. There we go, there's a one-shot kill. Are you impressed yet? You think this is a good weapon? Well, do ya? There we go, it's OP. Video over. We can one shot it. Ooh, hang on, there's a dude over there. And a, a thing about the using the tomahawks is you can yeet them. Oh, look at him backing up there. He's scared. Yeah, you're scared, mate. Come here. I'll get ya. You have no right to do that much damage. Fuck you. Okay, bad news. The surprise has turned into salt again because I got the fast travel bug and it held me up for 30 seconds. So, I'm pissed off. Not happy. Can I hit him, please? Thank you! Oh my goodness, why are you like this? That was an impressive range. Can I do that again? What's the range on this? Okay, not as good as it was letting on just then, but what can you do, eh? And, uh, well... I don't know what's going on. I can one-shot these guys. Not that one, though. That, that one's a little bit too much. So that's 1670 in it. Nice drop. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, the, well, <laughs> 1670 headshots. It's hard to argue against that damage. What's going on here? These weren't silently buffed, were they? I read somewhere that for some reason the slugger weapons were doing more damage than their cards would have let on. Um, so that's interesting. Because despite showing less on the weapon card than my punchy, Power Fist, which is, uh, in comparison, doing more damage. Well, I one-shot there. Actually, no, never mind. That's doing more damage. You know what? Maybe it's because I had such low expectations, it's actually exceeding them. Which is not really saying much. But apparently... I don't like it. I want to complain about something. Be terrible. <laughs> 
Fine. Apparently the war drum is fine and okay and it isn't cringe. It's just... Well, it's just kind of there. So, um, a thing that I was going to talk about earlier before I got distracted on stupid damage number nonsense is that, um, originally it, it, there's, in, there's actually animations in the game files that'll have, like, the player playing this thing. They turn it into a weapon for the Sons of Dane compound thing because Bonkon head get angry Wendigo happening. Almost died there. Really wish I had blocker, mind you. Getting real tired of not being able to hit a single mutant because their polygons are... One single polygon is stuck inside a wall or something completely throws the fat targeting system right out. But yeah, there was an animation where your player could play the war drum, you sit over it, and then they added a stick to it. It's like, hey, it's a super sledge! It's not a very inspired weapon. It's one of those three weapons you just think, why are they in the game? And it's all... It's basically what the, uh instrumental weapons are. Now this is a quality piece of weaponry right here. Righto, here's a stealth test for you. I'm gonna hide beyond where any ghoul could possibly see me. I'm gonna start swinging this thing. Caution, caution, out of line of sight. If I keep swinging this, will they eventually find me? And we are in caution still. Does it take line of sight to see you? Because this is important, because if you want to go and sh take Earl with this thing solo. Hello? There we go. Okay. So, you kind of got to be right near him to activate it. You'll get a little bit of activation, and right now I'd like blocker, please. I'm going to pop a stim pack here, just because I can. I mean, we are kind of being carried by my gratuitous super stim pack usage, but whatever. I prefer not to die in sit in a loading screen for a little bit. My time is precious, so there, there's like a billion things I want to be doing right now that don't have Fallout 76 involved. Thought I could hear a Wendigo. Get out of here. It's a weapon to use against Wendigos and ghouls, just like that broken ass event. There's been a couple of times in a live stream where I've just sat outside stealing all the kills. Everyone's telling me, no, you gotta kill the ghouls inside. That's how you get the thing going. And people... Like a bunch of people playing all of the musical instruments inside. I just think that that thing's bugged. They've, they've somehow messed it up. They probably didn't even touch it, but they've messed it up. Gotta, sometimes I just ask, like, how hard is it to fix this game? Obviously very, because... Like, what Lone Vault Wanderer was letting on. There's like a 90-page PDF file of all the bugs they know of. They've got to fix them one by one. <laughs> Fast travel bug on page 37. Ah, uh, you know, it's probably a good move, um, offloading Fallout 76 to the different studio. Hey, there was that drop, by the way, if you're wondering. I didn't go back and check what it is, but that probably shouldn't be doing more damage than the war drum. It isn't, but you can modify it to do greater amounts. The crit damage here would be okay, I guess. Also, I haven't been checking whether I'm getting the uh, crit after every swing. Instead of every every shot, because we swing the weapon. But I have to assume that I am. I think the threshold for that is like 24 luck. Okay, next, the crackheads and then a big super mutant behemoth. And I knew that something was missing before. It turns out I didn't have the headband on. Becca looked completely bald with it. Without it. <laughs> Even though she's got a good set of hair. Nourished by the quality products of uh, Pantene. Stop that. Now I've got the grounded mutation, so crazy laser gun guy probably won't do a whole lot of damage, but I'm gonna get out of that grenade range. I got a dense chest piece. Um, it's got AP refresh on it. I also have that was close. I also do have um, AP regen on that, so that's good. I didn't go over this, but I grabbed uh, Grim Reaper Sprint just in case. It's just a good way to get your AP back if you're gonna get. Natural regeneration, um, obviously a good synergy there with any bats build. And I've actually grabbed a lot of luck um, on this crit build, and it's not for any particular purpose. Okay, I can't even bats that guy. He's sitting in too deep of water. So if you want to come back out, I'll go that, yep. And we got a mysterious stranger savior proc, thank you. That's going to pull us out of nerd rage, but that's okay. Technically, I didn't die to that. 
Well, that sucked. Kind of want to let him um, refill his health so I could try it with the uh, nice brook. Try it with the um, with the power fist. But I remembered that I'd have blocker on and I'd be reducing that massive damage that he does to me by half. So that's no good. So we might get absolutely destroyed against the My Alert Queen because A, I cannot, I simply can't hide. So, alright. Um, what I'll do is I'll use the P inside my noggin, generally referred to as a brain. And uh, we're going to knock him out to make sure he doesn't actually have any way of attacking us back. So we'll do that instead. We'll break both of his legs with extreme prejudice. There you go. Now, old mate over there is a little bit stuck. Like, uh... Never mind, I'm not going there. And then we just hit him. Doesn't even, He can't be bothered hitting his back. And now i got to go back into Nerd Rage Threshold. This is what we'll do for the My Alert King as well, uh, Queen as well. Possibly a king, they're pretty nasty. Alright, so, we're on again, and we've got the shotgun, may as well reload. And I've actually hotkeyed the thing this time, so that should be good. Almost one-shotted the little, little Mylurk dude, and I'm a bit more worried about this one, so we'll try to walk behind him. Or we'll just get teleported directly in front of him when we hit him. Yeah, good job, Vats. Thanks for half-killing me there. Luckily, we've got stim packs on speed dial, so we can just scrub our way out of it. No more crackheads for me to fight. The Mylurks have uh, been quite swift with the elimination of said crackheads. And now, we've got to go kill the Savage Mylurk King. Not to be confused with a Savage Deathclaw, which has the same prefix, but no, none of the same traits. They don't give you damage over time. Right now, we've got the uh, the Tomahawks, which I totally forgot about. And let's use the P again. Sit down. Thank you. And we're going to get detected, but uh, she can still spit loogies at you from the front. But if we go ahead and hit her on the, on the bum bum here, on the backside... We'll eventually get there. Eventually. Give it time. That's all my power attacks gone. I just check my phone here. We done? Oh, good. Okay, time to get batty and also possibly salty. We'll see how we go here. Um, do I have any rad shield? Nope, but I've got a diluted rad X. That's pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Well, actually, my axe wasn't rad. She was actually kind of an idiot to be honest. Not cool. Not cool at all. And uh, we'll bonk this one. Take that. See you later, mate. And we've actually knocked that Scorch Beast out all the way over there. It wants to run towards me, but is having pathing problems. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us, mate. Well, best of the AI. It's always the AI. And I'm going to hit him in the bum. Take that. Keep power attacking. going to go for some bats hits here. Missing out on power attack damage, but... If we get the explosions, we somehow didn't get staggered just then, so that's pretty good. Now the old uh, scorched uh, bum rush here might take us out. Actually, none of them are unarmed, so that's actually manageable. If they had have run at us with their fists out, then would have been trouble. So, I've kind of been carrying this thing with stim packs. I mean, popping a super stim pack every time you're in trouble is just a great way of scrubbing it up. It's a mole rat. Too late, buddy. The weapon's going to get me detected. All right. That one's settled down for a fair bonking on the head. Take that. Nice. You'll note that if you power attack whilst you sprint and you stop moving, it'll do the it'll do the baseball bat animation, which I think is slightly faster. That actually that's a punchy dude. Get out of here. Thank you. That's the biggest threat right there. Forget the scorch beast. The punchy dudes, they'll get you. And uh, once we're dealt with the Scorched Tort, I think we'll call it a video. And like I said before, the stim packs were carrying it here, but it's hard to argue with the damage we're getting. Should I have played this a little bit more careful and a little bit more in cover, then... I mean, yeah, it's good, but you can't really do that. You can't really sneak with this thing because it's going to get to you detected anyway. It's just kind of like a, a skin of a super sledge, really, and they've just added it in a standalone weapon form. That's really what it is. Doesn't make the quite... Doesn't make the, uh, the quite the same snare sound that Saint Anger makes. Maybe if we get mod support one day, I'll, I'll isolate a 
St. Angus snare sound, make it like 10 times louder than it should be, and so it can go dong when it hits stuff. That'll make the weapon a real treat, I think. Were you surprised that it went so well? I was. Thanks for watching. Bye.